Okay, so let's take a step back. At the beginning of this presentation, I mentioned we had three types of players and one universe. And hopefully you can see we have purposeful gameplay catering to each type of player. But that wasn't the only goal. It was to build a game that connected all three together cohesively. And this is where you come in. The community, the lifeblood of Star Citizen. Whether you're a PvE player delving for unique crafting blueprints, a non-combat player mining for high-quality resources or building a base with your friends, or a PvP player fighting for your org in Station Warfare to protect your base. Each one of you supports each other. You need the blueprints to craft, you need the resources to make them, and you need the equipment and protection to be safe. This is what Star Citizen is. It's a universe that caters to all players. Now, I could probably go on for another 10 hours deep diving into each system. But I'd do Jared out of a job, and he needs future ISCs and SC Lives and Citizen Cons. Today was to reaffirm what type of game we are making. And I hope you continue to come with us on this journey as we march towards Star Citizen 1.0. Thank you, CitizenCon, and can we welcome Chris Roberts? No? No? Yeah, one second. Jared? Okay. So Chris is not ready yet. So we're going we're gonna to ad-lib a bit. I'm here. Oh, uh, uh, well, LTI is warranty and insurance. That's what you're going to get. I have it on my thing on there, yeah. Welcome, Chris Roberts. <laughs> yeah, I had a schedule. Yeah. I was going to I don't know. You don't need this, right? Uh, well, I think they're going to scroll it. Well, thanks. Thanks, Rich. Um, Rich, Dave, and Ian, I hope you guys... And girls loved what you saw there. It's um, having a definitive line in the sand is incredibly empowering for the whole team, and I think for all of you guys in the community. Um, as I said in present, introducing the presentation, we will never stop growing Star Citizen, even past 1.0. And part of what makes Star Citizen so special is the symbiotic relationship between you guys, the community, and us, the developers. And I know I can be accused of feature creep. But you only need to look at Spectrum, Reddit, and Discord to see countless great ideas and suggestions that come from people playing a live alpha and seeing areas that can, the game can grow and improve. And often, we take these on board because they will make the game better. And in some ways, while you could say Star Citizen is a Chris Roberts game, I would say it's all our game. The developers, the community building the game, we're all building this dream game together. And Uh, and I think that's what makes it special. I think that's why you guys and girls have been here for as long as you have and have supported us through thick and thin because we're doing something together. And I don't think in almost any other game you have the opportunity to be involved at that level and have your voices heard and impact what we do. Because, you know, Occasionally, we'll do things, and you guys are like, no, that sucks. And we're like, mm, yeah, you're right. We'll change it. Um, and also, like I said, we definitely read and look and hear um, all the stuff that you write. Some of it may not be so nice, but a lot of it is uh, really great. And uh, we take it aboard, because we're just trying to build this amazing universe for us all to live in together. Um, so. What defining 1.0 does, though, for us is give us a finish line in terms of feature and content we are committed to delivering for when your life in the verse becomes truly persistent, your gameplay to progress your reputation, the money you earn, the material possessions you collect and earn will persist even as we deliver more content and features. And I think that's incredibly important for really finally being able to fully commit and not just go, OK, well, I'll play for a while until the next patch comes out. Um, and it's also a, game for the game, a market for the game to be more stable, well-optimized, and incredibly friendly for new players 
as well as experienced ones, which I think all you guys are. Um, but that will only be the start of our journey together, because the, vi the, vi the vision of Star Citizen is a game that has no sunset, one that will continually grow with new content and features. We'll always make sure we're on the cutting edge of new technology. We'll never be outdated. I know I occasionally see that, oh, in so many years, you guys will be out of date. But as you can see by our constant presentations, we're always looking to make whatever we can do, whether it's the visuals, the audio, various ways to make the gameplay better. That's something we will always be working on. So we'll always keep the game at the bleeding edge of graphics, sound, physics, and yes, We'll support VR, and we actually have some of that in the background we're doing, and how we get stuff. Um, so, so I hope you've enjoyed this year's CitizenCon. Uh, we demoed a small prologue that opens Squadron 42 um, live, with a few crashes to prove it. Um, as I said, there's a, there's a really great full playthrough, no crashes, that Rich did immediately afterwards that's up on YouTube. And we've given a date to finally deliver the spiritual successor to Wing Commander that the team and I feel comfortable in hitting. We've defined what Star Citizen 1.0 will be and shown features such as base building and monster hunting that will be delivering the next 12 to 18 months. 4.0 and server meshing and pyro is coming at the end of this year. We're already in Evercati on 4.0. I think we're actually some people have been streaming some stuff. And in coming weeks, we'll continue, continually stabilize and improve the experience as it moves into PTU and then goes to live. With this, we will have delivered the majority of what we showed last year at Star uh, CitizenCon, uh, with the remaining features uh, coming uh, early next year. And there are over 1,000 people committed, uh, 1,000 people at CAG committed to bringing you all this and more. We love what we do, and we're inspired by your passion and support. We know that we are truly lucky to have such a strong community that shares the passion and dreams we do. You allow us a privilege almost no other developer has, the ability to dream and reach for the stars. And I truly mean that, because as, as a developer, it's very unusual to be able to build a game of the ambition that Star Citizen is, and Squadron 42 is. And that's all down to you guys and girls. So thank you very, very much. And then over this past year, an incredibly passionate group of people have worked behind the scenes to bring this weekend's event to life. Uh, and I want to take a moment to thank Leah and Ed, Tyler, Jared, Kat, and so many others who poured their hearts into making this weekend special for all of you. Um, and a huge thanks goes out to our presenters and teams supporting them, whether they're here with us today or watching from one of our other studios around the world. In the words of Admiral Bishop, I'm proud to stand with our teams and everyone that put this show together and all of the CAG staff working on the show floor. Your hard work ensures everything runs smooth and keeps the energy alive throughout the event. And finally, a heartfelt thanks to the community members who volunteered their time to run this year's show. None of this would be possible without their dedication and support. I thank all of you very, very much. And you know, many, many of us on the team are going to, myself included, are going to head down the road to the Factory International for the Enter the Atmosphere event um, that Amos is doing. Uh, so I hope you know, a fair number of you will manage to make it over there. Uh, there'll be a whole night of racing and esports, a bonus developer panel with Yogi uh, Klatt and Richard Towler, which I think uh, are, as always, they're, they're good panels. And uh, that, with that, Citizen 2954 is, comes to a close. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, made new friends, reunited with old ones, and marveled at the creativity on display at the community booth, which was pretty awesome to see. And you know, CitizenCon always underlines what makes Star Citizen special. So that's you. You guys here coming together, supporting, watching, giving us, the team, the energy to make this game. So thank you. And we'll see you in the booth.